So we got the DJI Phantom 2 here. This is uh, one of the copters we use to get some close-up aerial shots that you wouldn't normally be able to get with like a helicopter and stuff like that. It's got gimbal stabilized with the Hero 3 on it. So it's not turned on yet. We got some wireless video feed. That's an AVL 58 DJI as well. It runs on lithium batteries, so it works pretty good. We'll hover up, run in a little bit here. We're just doing some setup on it. Boom, 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 boom. What? These are brushed motors? Uh, brushless. These are brushless? Yep. Brushless motors. Yep, brushless motors, self tightening props. Cool. Spun right on there, eh? So I can. Uh, There's a gyro there. Yeah, I, think it's, I think it's a little out of balance right now. You gotta turn it on. Oh, it's not just a weight? No, it's uh, like self, it's slightly balanced to keep it, I don't know. It's not really <laughs> a good explanation. It's balanced as much as it can be on center to keep the camera like uh, Center point of focus? To, yeah, to, so get the CG of the camera like in the center so it's easy to move it around so that the uh, um, center of gravity stays in the same spot pretty much the whole time. So when you turn it on, it should center itself here? Yeah. Oh, so yeah. now it stabilizes it. Right on. For some good action shots. And this gives you like the really smooth, smooth, steady cam shots that you, you know, when you normally hold a camera in your hand, it's super shaky. Exactly. So that, that's what yeah. that's for. Yeah, cool. And that helps like when you're in high winds and stuff and the copter's like really ripping over on its side. You know, the camera's still gonna be stable looking at what you're getting at. Yeah. Not staring at the ground. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it makes the world of difference. It's what really makes these things able to do what they're able to do. That's the battery, eh? Yeah. Yeah, that's the new DJI proprietary batteries. Right on. It's they're pretty sweet. I'll tell you how much batteries that. left in them. Just push a button on the top, it'll show you the life of the battery left. Oh yeah, see that? This guy's dying. That's cool. These last, what, 15, 20 minutes? Uh, you should get 25 minutes out of them, as long as, like, the conditions are good. So if you're not flying in, like, really windy area, or extreme elevations, or really, you know, extreme yep. cold conditions, if you're just flying normal good weather, you'll pretty much every time get 25 minutes out of them. They'll never spin off in flight? No, they are uh, countered the other way that the motor oh, spins. Oh, left hand thread? Yeah, so there's uh, the right hand motors and then the left hand spinning motors, like counterclockwise and clockwise. Got that going on so I can just see what the GoPro's filming. So we can get some, some hand shots up there. and stuff. Is the GoPro on? Yeah. yeah. I don't think it's recording, but yeah. Still not much battery left in it though. There's the remote. Yeah. It's got some weight to it, eh? Yeah, it's not too they're bad. They're good it's good a, remotes or what? Yeah, they're pretty good. They're nice clean. Uh, they have a pretty decent range on them. I've flown this one personally over 1.7 kilometers. Right on. Yeah, remember it. It uh, lost signal. It lost video signal when I turned around, and then it had to GPS fly home. Yeah. So it flew itself home. That's wild. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Use that as like a base station for it. Yeah. Still gotta tighten them on. You don't really just spin them on. But, right. But it makes it easy for like, you know, just getting them on there. Yep. So, gotta set up the rest of the ground station. We are gonna chase the stampede around with this chopper. See what kind of shots we can get. GoPro on there so we can get some shots of the chopper too. Oh yeah. yeah it's gonna be fun. It's just pretty windy out today but we should get some good shots on this.